This is uh, Matt, uh, this is uh, Maxine Waters here in this video talking about Trump supporters. This kind of leads us into the Reddit story as well. Right. I am going to spend some time with the criminal justice system, with the justice system, asking them, tell us what's going on with the domestic terrorists. Are they preparing a civil war against us? Should we be concerned about our safety? What is he doing with this divisive language? It is dangerous, and we're going to have to make sure that we understand uh, that we're not at risk with this man talking in the way that he's doing. Okay. She's just pure evil. Well, that's another reason they want to put him in jail, too, so he doesn't go out there and speak and uh, give his opinion or in, and uh, what they would say, rile up people. Right. They're trying to control not just Trump, but his base. They're trying to signal to the base. We won't tolerate any. But the Trump base has jobs, and they work every day, and they're busy doing things. It's not the Trump base who are riling anyone up. Well, the other thing is, I think it's projection. You know, if we, a uh, perfect example of this is this article we have from Reddit. Let me go and bring it up. They do it every time, the projection. Yep. Whatever their plan is, they accuse you of it. If you want to read that. Yep. Redditors are now discussing an armed rebellion if Trump is elected. This is what the Second Amendment was for. When we're all in camps, it's going to be a little too late. Let's assume the theocratic fascists get their wet dream and Trump gets elected and the Republicans get the House and Senate. They get to enact every part of Project 2025 they want with no resistance. When do we start fighting back? I'm not trying to be a, doom a doomer, but when we're all in camps, it's not. it's going to be a little too late. We have to try and do something. You want the uncomfortable answer? This is what the Second Amendment was for, is that was what we can do about it. We need more left-wing gun owners in case shit hits the fan, a.k.a. it's time for me to start hitting the range again. Well, if this was someone on the on the right that was saying this, they would. I think they would have had uh, police officers and the feds uh, at their door. A hundred percent. You'd probably, if any of us had done this, we'd be locked up right now. At very bare minimum, getting investigated, them digging for any crime that they, they could charge you with. But the left, and Matt put up the very nicest of the comments. I mean, they are, how do I describe this without using, you know, the, the naughty words? The left is clamoring. Oh, yeah. Because they see that Trump is going to win. And they also know that there's a good chance he's going to get the Senate and the House. So they are clamoring for violence. Yeah, that's what it is. That's the truth. Well, uh, they're clamoring for. I think uh, I think what they're cla I think they're clamoring for what the Democrats want to happen anyway. The only way you could change the uh, United States completely from what it is and could go away from the Constitution, and you beg the United States uh, government to, uh, to do something about it and go completely against what the Constitution allows you to do. And some people are willing to let go of their rights for security. I mean, if you see right. examples of this, I mean, look at the... Uh, Look at what happened on 9-11. Look what happened with COVID. You know, I mean, these are two perfect examples yeah. of, of what government does whenever people beg government to help. them. Yeah, and it's a false analogy, too. You don't have to give up your, your safety and security. Um, you don't have to give up your rights to maintain safety and security. In fact, I would argue that your, your rights are the guarantor of your ability to be safe and secure. 